Hey, welcome to this video on my channel of to office. Today I'm going to tell you about how you can count number of unique data in a given data set and also how to extract those unique data. Let me show you what I mean. So this is the data before us and this is a source data actually. So if I change something, it automatically expand or contract. Now the very first query that would pop to one's mind is why on earth we need to learn a formula to extract the unique values. Your question is not baseless as we can easily have the unique data by removing the duplicates. But the reason why we should know how to extract unique data is that most of the times we need to create a dynamic drop down list from some source data which we want to be expanding and contracting like I show you just now. So I will demonstrate this with two functions of Excel that is counting function first and then the frequency function. So watch the video till the end to imbibe the concept in totality. So there's a set of numbers before us in column A obviously as you can observe with multiple repetitions and I want to calculate the number of unique data. So here I'm going to use counting function. So this is very simple counting my range will be this and my criteria will be 1 at first then 100 then 106 one by one I have to count all the numbers and their occurrence so if in place of a single cell I key in an array then it will return me an array of numbers which are actually check it 2, 3, 3. So this is telling me 108 is occurring twice, then comes 100, it is occurring thrice, then 106, it is also occurring thrice, and so on. So control Z. So what I have to do, do now is if I divide 1 by this expression of count if, so if 100 occurs for on if 100 occurs on three occasions, then it will be taken as 1 by 3, 1 by 3, and 1 by 3. And if say 106 is uh, coming twice then it will be counted as 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 so as you can see you can check it with pressing F9 see 108 and 108 it is coming twice so I am it is taken as 0 0.5 and as here also 0 0.5 so so it is counted as 0 0.5 here and 0 0.5 here when we add it it becomes 1 similarly 0.333 0.333 this will be added thrice so I have to just now sum this expression sum and since we are dealing with arrays we will press control shift enter the formula that I have used it I am bringing it to this place to show you but this formula when operated with a voluminous data it really slows down your excel seat now the function i am going to thoroughly use till the end of this video is the frequency function the very amazing function of excel which we don't use frequently but i assure you after learning this function this is going to be one of your favorite functions so let us quickly look at the syntax of this function this is the syntax of this function it takes two argument data array and the bins array data array is the source data and comes the bins array value inside the bins array are actually the upper limit of a range so when you provide 150 as one of the value inside the bin array this internally creates a range like this value less than equal to 150 the next one is 153 so it automatically arranges all this bins value in ascending order and creates a range like this you can observe here that 153 uh, all the values in the bins are always included that is the upper limit are always included also if we have got n values in bin array it creates n plus 1 ranges or categories and similarly it returns a frequency of n plus 1 cells since frequency is an array function so I will have to beforehand select n plus 1 cell and I am going to enter the formula frequency my data array is this one and my 
bin array is this one and check what is it returning to me see 150 I mean there are one value which is less than or equal to 150 then comes 153 there are zero value which is in between 150 and 153 with 153 included so I will press ctrl Z and ctrl shift enter now coming back to the main task of counting unique values so I'm going to find unique count with the help of frequency function frequency data array will be this so in place of bins array I will put these same numbers as the bins array it will arrange it in ascending order and then create internally a category say this is 100 is the lowermost value so my first category will be less than or equal to 100 then comes 100 to less than or equal to 101 and so on so let me check what value it is returning this is returning me 233 three. so what is it if I press F9 what is it returning to me 108 since occurring twice this is returning me 2 then 106 at the third position and it is occurring thrice so 3 again I encounter 106 these 2 3 3 indicates that there is some unique values so I need to count all these non-zero number actually put a condition if it is a, if it is zero then true or false it will return so this is uh, a series of true and false so if you want to turn true false into one and zero put simply put a double negative double negative before it if you place double negative before it it will change into one and zero and now check this one 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 and now we can easily count this with by, by some formula press control shift enter now in place of this sum formula I can use some product as well and if I use some product I won't be required then to press control shift enter I can simply press enter so I will bring that formula which formula I have used I have used this formula for your reference now I also uh, the formula that I used here the frequency one what is what I'm copying it and I'm copying it and pasting here so what was it returning to me it was returning 233 three. now let me remind you uh, the syntax of if function if function returns a true if it encounters a non-zero value a non-zero value non-zero means it could be 2 it could be 3 it could be 1 and when it uh, sees a zero it returns a false so I'm housing this expression inside an if formula and my logical test is going to be this like it is it two is it one or is it zero that is is it zero or non-zero and if it is a non-zero be it two three I want it to return one and if false leave it so when I do this it is returning me one 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 so every time it is finding a unique value it is returning me a value so now I just need to get a summation of this value sum and press control shift enter so this is how you can find unique count of the data set which contains only numbers but the main hurdle before us is that frequency function can deal with numbers only so how we can use frequency function to find out unique count from a data which contains text for that I will find the positions of numbers sorry these texts by match function so I'm going to use match 
and I'm going to use match and my lookup value will be this my lookup array will also be the same and my match type will be exact I will check what is it returning to me this is returning with the positions of all the data so I'm going to press ctrl Z and ctrl shift enter and let me remind you with my old expression of row function that that I have always used this function I always use this expression for generating a sequence of number from 1 to n I will house this match expression in frequency function this is going to be my data array my data array is this one the positions and my bins array will be all the numbers from here to here like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like this so I'm going to generate a sequence of number with row function row this to this lock it minus row and plus one so what does it return you know it, it, it returns me 1 to 10 and my data is f9 so what does frequency function do it automatically creates internally creates a data range okay so I will close it and check June is been repeated twice June here and June there but how smart is frequency function this whenever it finds a duplicate value it returns a zero now I just need to house this expression inside a function every time it's a non-zero number it will return me one or else nothing one 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 and now we can count it with some function control shift enter so frequency function is working in this case also so very quickly we will now use the same thing I will count match I'm going to find out the unique count match this one look a value going to be same and zero for exact match whatever it is so house it inside frequency function data is this bean array will be what is this value d9 row d9 2 and f4 here also f4 minus A function logical test if it is non zero return me one so I have counted the unique values so I have found the unique count of this data now I need to extract the unique values of this data so quickly come to this formula that we have used to find unique count check the frequency part this one this is returning me 2, 0, 2, 2 that is this is returning me the frequency of these data that is how many times are they occurring so what I will do here is I will copy this one and I have to use it here check me is it ok so what I am going to do here is whenever I find whenever I find a non-zero value here that indicates the presence of a unique data so 2 means there is some unique data here and 0 means some data has been repeated so what I need to do is 
whenever I find a non-zero value like 2 or 0 then then 2 then 1 3 I need to assign a value and value will be like I need to assign a position actually suppose if I encounter 2 at the first place I need to assign 1 then I am encountering 2 at the third place so I need to assign 3 whenever there is a true I need to assign its positional value so how I can do that we have been doing this in all my videos so I will house this expression inside uh, a formula so now this has become my logical test so logical test will be 0 and non-zero checking so whenever it sees a non-zero value it will return me true and if it returns a true and I need to return a positional value for that true condition so how I can do that I will use the same row 1 to generate a sequence of number from 1 to n row plus 1 I need to use minus so now check what is it returning to me so whenever it finds a unique value it is assigning me a number like I got a January here so it returned me 1 then again January it returned me a false then June it's a unique value so it is returning me its positional value that is 3 so I'm almost done with my extraction process now I need to uh, segregate all these 1 3 4 5 6 at one place like 1 at the first place 3 at the second place 4 at the third place and so on I can do that with small function where my array will be this one this set of false and numbers and I want to find first smallest second smallest third smallest like this that means in a way I want an increment of numbers from 1 to n but this time I won't use this formula to generate a sequence of a number from 1 to n why because I need to drag it down to get an increment that is I want an, a value of 1 here then 2 then 3 then 4 so here I will use rows function rows as I'm setting on f9 so I'll press f9 lock it so on the first occasion this rows will return me 1 and when it is dragged down this f9 becomes f10 and then it returns me value of 2 so I will close this small function and press control shift enter to check are we going in the right direction or not so this is 1 sorry I think I haven't fixed these cells match f4 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 and now control shift enter not drag it down so you can see this is returning me the positions of all the unique values now now it's a cakewalk for us to extract these with index index my array will be this one lock it row number will be these values been returned and since it has only one column so I'm leaving the column blank drag it down so you can see unique values have been filtered and now the last thing that I need to do is to get rid of this error we have been doing it since ages so I will use if error so if there is no error this formula will be operated or else and now I will press Control shift enter drag it down so we have found the unique count and then the unique value now this extraction will help you when you are using some name dynamic range for a drop down list or for a graph so that's all in this video see you in the next video thank you